everyone and welcome to Cisco Voice Technologies. My name is Chris Avance and I'm going to be with you throughout this entire series. So let's take a look at what you're going to learn. Well, first of all, um, I designed this class very closely around the Cisco Voice curriculum uh, for CCNA Voice. Let me put it that way because Cisco Voice is a very broad term, covers a lot of things. So anyway, CCNA Voice is, uh, is the uh, material I des or the required knowledge for the CCNA Voice exam is what I designed this course around. So a little bit of background about me before we get started. Um, I've been doing the Cisco thing for quite some time. I started whenever I was 17, originally with GE Capital IT Solutions. I got my uh, first Cisco certification around my 18th birthday, uh, which was CCNA, CCNA of course. Um, they didn't have the CSEN or things like that back then. Um, but anyway, I've been doing Cisco for a long time. Whenever Cisco started doing voice, I jumped in with, uh, you know, head over heels for it. Um, it's one of my favorite technologies that Cisco does, and I've been doing that for some time. So, I'm um, very happy to be here with you, uh, guiding you on your journey to learning these Cisco voice technologies and helping you get prepared for the CCNA voice exam. Um, anyway, so what you should know coming into this class is simple. You should have the... Uh, basic understanding of IP networks that's found in the CSENT exam uh, objectives. So the Cisco Certified Entry Network Level uh, Technician is basically the course that prepares you for these additional uh, specialized courses. Okay, and so this is step one for voice, but we do need you to have that fundamental uh, understanding of Cisco concepts, networking, IP mechanics, all those kind of things. Um, which will make your life a whole lot easier in this class. Now, as a lot, you don't have to have that certification if you're just doing this for learning, but um, if uh, you, you do need to have that level of understanding, and that way it'll make this uh, learning process go that much easier, right? So, um, and it definitely, if you want to get certified, if that's your objective, then the CSENT is a required part of that, so you'll, you'll need to have that. So, here's the thing. With all my courses, I, I always do this. I, I design my objectives around the course and the lesson plan very, very closely to the required learning from the actual course and test. So the CCNA voice is, you know, exam number is 64461. It's called ICOM, um, Introducing Cisco Unified Communications. And basically, even if you're here not for certification, it still gives us a great outline of how we should learn things and the things that we should know, um, you know, for the associate level voice um, specialization for Cisco, or at least that that position's uh, level knowledge, right? So anyway, this is the uh, um, key focus areas for the exam and where they're going to, if you were to take the exam, um, put their uh, focus, right? So this is where I've designed the, the key concepts around this class to make sure we cover all of these things. So you can see 70% has described the characteristics of a Cisco Unified Communication Solution. 23% is about provisioning end users and associated devices. 26% is about configuring voice messaging and presence. And 10% is maintaining the Cisco Unified Communication System. And uh, the 24% is providing end user support. So you can see the big focus about this class is about the day-to-day -day operations of a Cisco Unified Communication Solution. And actually, all of Cisco's certifications match job roles and job descriptions. And so the job description for this is about the day-to-day -day support and coverage of a unified voice architecture, okay? And so we're gonna be focusing on these things and a little bit more, um, but these are definitely, it's not one of these courses where, you know, 70% of it's based on, you know, routing and then 10% is based on this. It is important to know every one of these topics that we're talking about. So you can't just say, I'm going to focus on these things and that'll get me through the exam. That's not the case. All of these things are very important to understand and learn and uh, we're going to have a good time doing it. So for those of you who are here for that certification, we're going to cover everything that just went over to make sure that you're prepared to, to, to actually gain that certification. That's the goal, that's my goal with this class. Um, so whenever you're done, you could say, Chris, help me get uh, CCNA voice certified, right? That's our objective. So anyway, if you are a CSENT or you have a CCNA or maybe you're a CCMP route switch or something like that and you're looking to uh, add voice, 
um, you'll need to take the 640-461 ICOM exam. You do that, if you already have your CCNA a CSENT or higher, then you are now CCNA voice specialized. So it, it's really that simple, right? <laughs> that simple. Everything's easy when you know how. So anyway, all right. So you can see I put a link down there for Cisco's certification website. If you're watching this video, chances are you already know all about that site. So anyway, where do we go from there? Well, there's a lot of options, as you well know, I am sure. Um, once you have that CSENT certification, um, you're already in the CCNA voice. Whenever The reason I still want to go over this is just to remind you that doing this exam, if you do take the CCNA voice exam, and let's say you're already a CSENT or a CCNA or, or whatever other certifications you have, um, whenever you pass this exam, that renews all of your certifications at that level for three years. So whenever you pass this exam, you are also a CCNA uh, for the next three years. So it renews everything up until that level. And then, you know, if you want to go beyond that, there's another four um, exams that you have to pass for the um, CCMP voice, right? So I'll pull that up here in just a second. And, uh, and anyway, that, those four exams, it uh, has to do with C voice, which is the gateway gatekeeper. Uh, here, let me just write them down here. So if you want to do the professional level voice, we've got C voice. And that is uh, that deals with the uh, gateways, like I said. Um, so we'll just say gateways, QoS, and also uh, router-based call control. Right? It's really what that's about. We deal with a lot of those things in here. This is just like stepping it up a notch. It's the professional series. So uh, after that, you've got to take SIPTI um, one and two. And that's basically about uh, Cisco Unified Communications Architecture Call Manager, right? Um, the deployments of it, all the mechanics of it, things like that. In this class, we're going to talk about the administration and management of it. And I also have a bonus video I'm going to show you about installing a Cisco Unified Communications platform. But really, that's the job and uh, advanced routing and things like that. That's what you're going to learn in the SIPT1 and 2 programs found here. Um, after you're done with SIPT1 and 2, then you also have uh, Cisco Apps, C Apps, and that's uh, that's covers things like Unity, Contact Center. Um, we'll just say CCX, uh, those kind of things, right? And um, and anyway, once you've completed these, this is one, two, three, and four additional courses you need after this CCNA Voice, which is what we're here to do. And then you would be a CCMP voice uh, certified individual, which is a great thing. There's very few. You may or may not know this little secret about CCNA voice and just Cisco voice in general, but it's considered one of the hardest certifications to get from Cisco. There are fewer CCIE voices than everything else except for wireless. So at least the last data I saw. Okay, so. That means that there's just a lot more you got to know. Not only do you have to know voice, okay, and how this works on voice, we also have to understand the mechanics of networking and how to reach from site A to site B to site, you know, Z. We've got to understand those mechanics. Also, we need to know about firewalls a little bit to make sure our voice is able to traverse the network without getting blocked by something, right? So there's there's a there's a lot of things we just have to understand some mechanics um, to you know, for voice to work because it's voice over IP. So we have to have that really foundational level of, of networking and IP and security and even wireless. If you do voice over wireless, you got to have those kind of skill sets to um, do unified communications because that's kind of the title. Unified communications is what you'll be doing. So unified architecture and, and, and sending real time traffic over that architecture. That's why it gets challenging. Uh, not sure why there's fewer wireless than those, but I know definitely the most difficult too, uh, compared to surveys that I've seen and things like that, they definitely say that voice and wireless are the two most difficult. Anyway, um, and then if you go on from there, you, of course you have the options to do any of those other uh, exams uh, and, and verticals, and there's even more than this, right? There's data center and all kinds of stuff. So anyway, 
I know you guys know a lot about the exams and testing, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that at that. So the one thing I do want to make sure we discuss about this uh, test, for those of you who want to take it, is it is 640-461. It is called Introducing Cisco Voice and Unified Communications Administration, also known as ICOM. Okay, um, that's actually the, the abbreviated test number. Uh, test number is 64461, that's actually the abbreviated course code, I believe. Um, there's going to be between 60 and 70 questions, passing score between eight, 800 and 850. The passing score is not published on any Cisco exams. Um, you do see uh, at the end, after you've taken an exam, you'll see like, okay, you've made a percentage in these categories that we've tested you on, but it doesn't give you like the, the you know, some people know they've passed once they get uh, somewhere in here. So that's where that's coming from. Um, anyway, before you can earn the CCNA voice certification one last time, you, you have to have a CSENT, just this guy right here, or higher, um, and then taking this exam and passing it, you'll be a CCNA voice. Sound good? All right, so with that being said, let's get started. I'm so excited to have you. You're gonna be, uh, gonna have a lot of fun in this class and, um, and hopefully you're gonna love this wonderful world of unified communications. We'll see you in a second.